Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Prepare for trouble and make it double. Because there's more trouble center to be had in this part, I must complete all the troubles for the sake of, well, completionist. <laughs> so let's go back to the trouble center and see what is up. Bloop. Jolene, help wanted. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me at the glitz pit. Okie dokie. See you there. Boy, that was a quick trip. You're the ex-champ, right? Yeah, the great Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but Miss Jolene is the fight promoter now. If you have business with her, head on down to the hallway to, promoters, to the promoter's office, okay? Oh, are you planning your, uh, your comeback? Because that would be so awesome. <laughs> uh, have anything else? Yeah, then... Okie dokie. Just wanted to check that. Alright, to... Jolene's office! Which is where Grubba used to be. Which is this room. What's that? You need to talk to Miss Jolene? Go on in. She's waiting. Okie dokie. Bloop. Oh? 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 Yes, yes. Who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh! Why, it's the Great Gonzalez! It's been too long! How have you been? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Just 100% in games. I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in the attendance since you returned the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback and is reigning supreme again. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Ray Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. Well, I'm, well, I'm not, not exactly. What, you want to unretire and battle again? No, I came for the trouble. <laughs> I knew this one day would come! Well, fine, sign me up. Just get it over with. <laughs> Let me just find your old registration so we can, huh? Hmm. Oh, which I'm so sorry. But all of your our records of you seem to be gone. Oh, come on, how does that ha even happen? So our only option, sadly, is to start you again, start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Sorry, but the rules are rules. We can't bend them even for our next champ. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put you on as a minor league fighter again, then. You want to fight? You know the deal. He's a locker room communicator. I will not be going over the arena's, arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. No, trouble. Now, I'll do that stuff later. You accepted that request? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage, and I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere where I can't see it, all right? Okie dokie. As you know, the storage room is right next door, so let's see what is in here. Oh, jeez! I see why she can't get near it. It's like an underwear truck exploded. And what? Uh, like a, well, not just an underwear truck, an, an underwear truck full of dirty underwear. Alright, let's pick it up. <laughs> oh! Gonna need hand sanitizer after all this. Well, he never said a hero's job would be clean. Is there any, anything in here? I don't think... No, I didn't think so. Well, just to be sure. Nope. I didn't think so. I already got the star piece in there too, so... Yeah, I don't need anything in there. Okie dokie, I think... I think, think, I've got them all. Hopefully, maybe... I wonder what's going on down there. Nothing suspicious this time. <laughs> yeah, that's still accessible for you to do even after finishing the glitz pit. What the? No! What? Huh? Didn't I? I could could have swore I got everything on the. What? This is blasphemy. Um, what? I don't remember this trouble being this troublesome. Hold on, I'm gonna reset this room one. <laughs> and 
go back in. By the way, if, if you don't realize it, th these items are going in my uh, important things. Yeah, it's it's pretty full. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I don't have to like make room in my I item inventory or anything like that. But okay, did I get them all? Did I get them all? Because I'm I'm almost positive I didn't miss anything my first run through there. <laughs> This game is making me second-guess myself here. <laughs> Alright, let's go back over to Jolene here. And... You smell terrible! Oh no, you don't still have that garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here. I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Goomfy in Rogueport that buys stuff like that. I've already gotten in touch with him, so... Just get that trash out of here. Okie dokie. Go, Steed, go! Okay, I think this is the Goomba I'm looking for here. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that she wanted taken care of? Hmm? Not who? What you say? Well, fine, let's get it done. So, what are we doing here? Here's some battle chunks. Still some left? Yes, 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 yes. Go, go! A button mashing. So many battle chunks. So much stench. Uh, take them all! Just take them all! I wish I could select all of them all at once. I guess we're done with this one. Man, I have never had a job this stinky. <laughs> Make sure you get your get the rest pay for this man. Okie dokie. While we're going back to Glitzville here again, I've had to sit through so much cutscene and backtracking. Uh, I don't feel like going back here again later. So what I'm gonna do here is buy two hot dogs from this hot dog stand. You'll see why in a bit. Hello there, you customer. That that thing with you, <laughs> with you used to be my runaway egg, I think. Yes, that hatch and that naughty egg. I guess it's good I didn't cook it. That is true. He, he's been pretty useful. Now, have a ho hog hoggle hot dog. Still only 10 coins for one. You will buy one? Yes, I will. Not just one, but two, actually, for the side quest that's coming up. I just want to grab it while I'm here, otherwise I'll regret having to come back here again later on, so yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to do that side quest directly after this side quest, actually. Uh, you know, for the sake of organization and whatnot. It's just, I really don't feel like coming back here, you know, when I start up the trouble, so I'd rather just get the hot dogs right now. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, hot dogs. Refills 5 HP and fly fi 5 flower points. Not too shabby of an item, especially in the uh, earlier game. Alright, Jolene. I got rid of them, hopefully. You cleared it all up? Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. Woo! 30 coins! I guess we won't be getting that sm that to smell out of that room anytime soon. That is true. <laughs> um, hmm? Please, Mr. Gon Gonzalez, I'm very busy these days. Fight promotion is not easy. Well, please see yourself up and have a nice day. Well, that's that's kind of rude there, considering that I took care of your little problem. This is me. Oh, fine. Be that way, you two. All right, back to the trouble center. You know, something I just thought about with that cheap cheap over there. It checks for a ticket to go here. I mean, the, the, like when I go to Glitzville first, it checks me for a ticket, right? And then when I leave Glitzville, it all that cheap cheap also checks me for a ticket. Like what? How? It's a it's an entirely tourist attraction, so people are there just visiting. And what do they think that people? I mean, do people live there or something? I don't think so, there's not like any, well maybe the fighters live there, but they're there and they, they have to use the blimp to get there and I'll oh, forget it. Uh, I'm using too much logic here. <laughs> um, on my way back, I would like to explain a little bit more about uh, this right here, the Happy Lucky Lottery Board. Um, it The numbers are indeed, uh, like when they pick the numbers, it's it's red from right to left, so if you get the fourth place prize, you need to have the, the number on the right, the uh, you know, last most number match, this, uh, and then the, for the two numbers matching the third prize, the two numbers on the right, etc, etc, up until the uh, uh, first prize. And I'm going to see if I won today here... No! No. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. Oh. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize, and gives you a free mushroom like usual. 
So anyway, um, the thing I wanted to explain also about here is the prizes that you can get. Um, the uh, the last place prize that you get for just matching one number is a life shroom, two numbers an ultra shroom, three numbers you either get a lucky day badge or a zest special, which is a special item typically only made by uh, zesty, and if you get all four you get a power plus badge. Anyway, trouble center, go 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 go! Mm -hmm. We've made it back. All right, I'm going to check this here. I'm gonna skip this one by Merle because I need to have something with. Uh, I, need, I need to have something for Zesty. In fact, it's this one right here. So I'm gonna have to do this one before I do this one. You know, the Zesty Seeking Legendary book before I do the Heartful Cake recipe. And so the next one I'm gonna do here is the food I want. Bolt Bub Olber. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Could you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Petalburg. Okie dokie. And this is why you wanted to buy those two hot dogs. Shortcut pipes for the win! I don't remember which one leads to which, actually. Was this the one that leads to Petalburg? 50-50 shot? Yes, it was. Alrighty. We are looking for Bulb Ulber. That is... Uh... Not, was it you? Stone. No, not you. Definitely not you. Um, does this lead me out? Forgot what, nope. I forgot which part of the city we were at, or Petalburg town we were at. Uh, here we go. This is the one we're looking for. Here we go. Hello and good day to you. I am Bul Bulwer. You came here after hearing of my request, correct? Ah, I am so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. Now notice he says, a hot dog, indicating one hot dog. That's misleading. It is said to be spicy, but I've never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say they're sold in Glitzville. Please get one for me if you can. I've got you a hot dog right here. I've already got them at Glitzville. Oh, so this is a hot dog. I'm going to try it. Go right ahead and try it. <laughs> <laughs> this is spicy! Well, the spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but you give, could, could, you, could you give me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. I would appreciate it. So that they kind of make you go back and forth between Glitzville and here normally. But since I've got another hot dog right here, right now. Oh, I'm so happy to eat another hot dog. I've dreamed of this. I wasn't gone for long if I mean I didn't stop talking to you for long How, did your dream build up that quickly oh forget it I shall devour it immediately oh da, 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 da. spicy spicy hot this now this this is spicy oh my that was positively delicious good gracious I'm sweating with pleasure Whew. rather surprised that it was spicy rather than just spicy <laughs> By the way, and I know this is rather rude, but I love to chase that with a sweet. Sweets are just the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Could you maybe c cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. Arr! Arr! Apologies for forgetting that. <laughs> anyway, go back to Roadport, more specifically the Pianta Parlor. And since we got some coins from another quest, we shouldn't have any issues. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. Mm, I wonder if I should get some more coins for now, because I'm going to need them for another side quest later. Yeah, I'm just going to do that and leave it at that. And anyway, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yay, I can play the paper game, because I got that member scarf from the Pit of 100 Trials last part. Trade in winnings. You want the cake mix from her. And that's why I wanted to get some more piantas for later, because, you know, I, as you can tell, I'm going to need more uh, piantas in the bank for another cake mix a little bit later on. So I'm just getting that prepared for now. All right, let's go over to the ornery cook, the most ornery cook in the world. Zesty. Oh yes, since I haven't cooked up anything from her uh, throughout this whole walkthrough, I guess I'll do so now here. Hey, Mr. Contact Smusher, listen to this. 
I got the lowdown on a book that can turn anyone into a master chef. I went to the trouble center in the east part of town and recruited someone to find it. If you like helping folks out, you want to swing by there. I'll reward you. I think I was using the wrong voice there. I had, I think I used the more ornery Toad's voice. But anyway. So anyway, did you need me to cook something for you, Dr. Bumblefoot? Yes, please. What ingredients would you like me to cook with? Cake mix. Okay, I'll cook up your cake mix. I'm gonna mix these up for you, so just wait a sec. What is she chopping? It's cake mix. What is she frying? It's cake mix. Ah! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but go on, take it, Stompy. And you get a moose cake, which replenishes 15 flower points. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? You seem oddly friendly. Maybe, maybe what happens is that she enjoys cooking and that brings out the niceness in her. Maybe. Bob Alber, I've got your cake. Enjoy. Oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat it. So I won't. Oh, sweet. Good gracious. I'm great. I'm quite satisfied now. But I feel like I've been nannying. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish because, well, because it's such a peaceful place. I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show my gratitude. Dried bouquet. Oh. This is another item that you can cook with. <laughs> I've been growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want want more, just bring me another hot dog. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you so much. So yeah, you can get an unlimited supply of those dried bouquets for recipes that you uh, might need it for a little bit later. So keep that in mind. Just bring him a hot dog. He'll give you a bouquet. I've been recording for like 20 minutes, but I feel like I didn't get really much footage out of this. So let's do another trouble here. Uh, this question mark here, this should be pretty interesting. Elusive badge. I'm after an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rogueport Square. This person, is, this poster is anonymous. This may be dangerous. Want to take on this trouble? Yes, I will. Do it and do it right. I shall. So, who might this person be, you wonder? Well, let's go on top of the roof. Uh, the way to get up on top of there is actually, um... You remember the badge place uh, in the, in Rogueport there? Just go through the inn here, go up to the second floor, and I've still got to talk to Ouija there. Maybe I'll uh, talk to Ouija to close off this part. And, you know, listen to his story and whatnot. And over here is... Ah! You! You! That's Miss Mouse, the thief. Hmm. She jets, jets off to exotic places to find rare badges. She's only like the biggest flirt I've ever met in my entire life. It's weird that she's the anonymous, anonymous requester of the super secret badge. Alright, let's chat. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Mm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but i failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, of that much I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeat a Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means though. Anyway, look for it, okay sweetie? Well, the elusive badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, and I... What could that mean? Well, if you look for it, I'm counting on you, sweetie. Okie dokie. So, to Hooktail's lair we go. And I just stood on top of that board. <laughs> I've traveled far for this badge. Let's go back inside Hooktail's lair. So, if you look around this place, it's pretty dang empty room. I and mean, just look at this. It's humongous. I guess that's where uh, Hooktail got in here, like this... That hole right there. Can you like jump off this edge here? Yeah, I didn't think so. That would be pretty funny. But if you search around the center of the room, oh, mm hmm, mm hmm. What is what is this? What what is this? You need the power of wind to see 
The secret hidden badge chest. The attack FXB badge. This badge Miss Mouse is looking for. Take it to her. Okie dokie. Uh, I gotta go back now. Alright. I travel to the ends of the world for this badge. You better appreciate it. <laughs> that face doesn't mean you found the badge. Here you go. Well, this is simply the badge that I was looking for. Oh my, yes. <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. What? You put me through that! I have to apologize, but I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You better give me an incredible reward for getting that badge. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because mm -hmm, I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now about the reward, let's see. Take this badge you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Woo! Now, let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Oh! Miss Mouse has joined the party! She is a secret party member and you get her for doing that trouble. She has the ability to seek out stuff, basically. Miss Mouse's abilities, a primer. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff out, sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. When you press X, I'll sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. That's how you can find like hidden star pieces under the floor and stuff like that. She'll also have that face whenever you're nearby something. There's something right here, near here, sweetie. If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, just like, like I did just now. I'll have to show that off a little bit later, but I've been collecting the most of the stuff uh, uh, up until this point anyway, so I can't really show all that much using her until I get to the next chapter and whatnot. In battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. I can also help you out by using my kiss leaf move to steal enemies' items. That's pretty dang handy. Woo! So she's like a really technical um, character to use, basically. And I solved the trouble. Woohoo! Look at her! We got a new partner and she's adorable! Woohoo! Alright, let's go talk to Ouija to finish off this part. This time I'm going to talk to Ouija first and then listen to the partner's side of the story. And I headed to the circuit break island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about rails, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. What to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes, yes, indeed. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Circuit Break Island. And like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold cot races almost every day on the island. Mario Kart. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there in the trophy they gave they give to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in cart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazed, but I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the Big Green Zero One. I took my position position at the start line. I wonder if that his cart is like the cart that he used in Mario Kart DS. I don't know. <laughs> that light was went green. I stomped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse. <laughs> The big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling! I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-screen. <laughs> In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. <laughs> Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. <laughs> I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me towards the jazz of Raz Town in the east. Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess, random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. 
I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my bro boat and came back here to the rowboat. And that's what's been up with me. And he wakes up. <laughs> if you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? Okie dokie. Now, let's see the partner side of the story. Notice that it's um, a spike top with a wrench on it. Yeah, I'm Torque. I don't, don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. <laughs> well, it appears that Luigi's party members aren't necessarily with him uh, for the companionship. <laughs> Well, anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part. You are incredibly adorable. <laughs>